So the Kids to College uh, conference was cancelled because of the coronavirus. So what we'll just do, port it to YouTube. This is a high-level overview into a 3D space. There's a five mode and they get loud here real soon because they also affect synthesizer. Okay, so that was sort of a high-level overview, uh, and what I want to do in the next few videos is step through uh, each component. So the next one, we'll do a deep dive into the software, and we can um, look at the computer programming, which compiles to Java, and look at how to actually make the visuals and the audio um, respond to your position in 3D space without touching any controllers or keyboards or anything. And then um, we can look at the 3D camera, you know, like how does a depth sensing camera actually work? What's the physics behind? You've probably heard of LiDAR, or radar, or sonar. Like how do these self-driving cars work? How do they know or when a car parks itself? How does a car actually know that there's um, so many inches or meters, whatever, to the left, right, forward, and behind. And so we can look at the physics behind how these different aspects work of a depth sensing system or depth sensing camera, a camera with XYZ axis. And then um, we can do a, a different video about uh, audio processing MIDI and audio synthesis and how a, a uh, how a synthesizer works and how it receives commands and sends commands um, based on your how you move your hands or your body in 3d space in motion and uh, and then we can look at um, one of my favorite parts which is the 3d modeling and 3d animation and texturing and uh, how do we create 3D models in motion and fluid simulations and fire and smoke and all this good stuff um, out of raw data. So out of spatial or depth data, how do we create 3D models and uh, animated texture, um, lighting, all this good stuff. And then the last part of it, which right now is probably my favorite is uh, AI or they call it artificial intelligence but really right now in March of 2020 really what we're talking about is ML or machine learning and so we can get into some of the 
fuzzy details of how machine learning actually works and maybe some of the math behind it, but how when you point your cell phone at yourself, how does it actually know where your left eye is or your right ear, or your you know, your hips, your knees, your ankles? How do how do these algorithms actually know if we look at AI with audio signals? Um, how do these algorithms know? Whoa, it's bad in there. <laughs> All right.